Hey everybody, Patty Tolly Parish here with InkyObsessions.blogspot.com. So today I put a little um, request out on um, my Inky Obsessions Facebook page and told anybody if they had any um, suggestions or requests for topics for videos to let me know. So I, I got some, a little handy Danny Maduri. Um, that I was jotting down as they came in. Of course, I can't remember. Well, you know what I can't remember. Um, so I'm going to try to to sh maybe hit a couple of these um, in a quick little video. <laughs> what suckers you are, if you believe that one. Um, but no, really, I'm going to try to make this, uh, let's say, quicker than normal which means under an hour, I'd be happy. <laughs> but I was going to try to show you the difference between some Viva Decor and Treasure Golds that are similar but different. And I also had been posting recently on a um, Art Junkie Supply Facebook page about the trouble I'm having with my Viva Decor Inca Golds and how my Treasure Golds are now my go-to for that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sponsored or paid by anybody. This is just my two cents for what I'm finding. Um, and then somebody asked about oil pastels, um, and I have a couple different brands, so I'll pull those out in a little bit too, and then I'll check two off my little list. <laughs> How about that? So, I'll forget that by the time I go to do the second one, so somebody out there remind me, will ya? Lord of mercy. Okay, so, um, Inca Golds. I got some colors, right? What's that? Two, four, eight colors, um... And I really like this stuff. I had the gold first, because that's all I knew about was the Inca Gold gold. Um, and then um, I started seeing all these other colors, and I thought, fabulous, fabulous. I'm going to get some of these colors that I loved. Um, and then by the time I went back to my original container of gold that I had, it was cracked and dried and hard as a rock and like, looked like beyond repair. So I got another fresh one because I think, think possibly, that the formula may have changed. Because if you notice these labels, and you notice the, here the dried up green in there rattling around, and you notice these labels, um, they both say Viva Decor. This says Viva Decor. This says Viva Color. Um, this just has Inca Gold on there, and this has Inca Gold Metallic Rub, and it's got Splash of Color on here, which is a logo for where, uh, I mean, the website for where I've recently bought some um, a Twinkling H2Os and Silks. So, um, even the bottom labels are different. Simple as one, two, three... None of that over here on this one. And it's not just the colors that are different from the metallics. Um, are they? I don't know. I don't have any other just color. They're all their colors. So I, that I'm not sure about. But anyway, I'm hoping that the formulas change because I really love these at first. And then after, I don't know, maybe a couple months of that, they started to dry up. So I went to use my blue the other day. And it was dried up and I could hardly use it. And I, I did something. I'm going to reveal the test results live on camera. Well, it's live for me, recorded for you. But I'm going to do it so everybody can see what this is. So I read a couple different places. And somebody told me on Facebook that even the company, they called the company because they were having the same problem. And Viva Decor told them to stuff a wet baby wipe in with and the container. So that's what I've done. And this has been here. When did I do that? Um, couldn't have been this weekend. It must have been late last week that I did this. So it's been sitting there closed up tight ever since. And this one also has this little plastic little bit in here, which you think would also help, right? So we'll see. Wet baby wipe. There it is. And it's still real, very moist. Here's the blue. Ooh, that's helping a lot. Uh, 
It's still not coming. It's a lot on my finger. Um, this is much better than it was. This is usable. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to do that to all of these and stuff that baby white in there. So I, I'm pleased with that because I thought these were all going to go in the Garbucci. Um, that is perish for garbage. Um, so I'm pleased with that, but I have this red one. I don't know if I've ever even used the red, have I? Very little. Such a yummy color. This one's still pretty creamy. That one's still pretty new. Move this out of the way. So that's that seems to be smearing on there pretty good, and I can get a lot more off of this than I could the blue. Look at patriotic fingers. And to think the government had my husband on a furlough, but he's back as of this week. So thank you, thank you. Um. So anyway. That's what happened with this little experiment I wanted to show people, that it did actually improve it. This is what I was saying on the um, on the, the Supply Junkies website the other day about the product that I've been using that's very similar to the application for what I use the Inca Golds for. And it's Treasure Gold. Oops, hello, and they're glass. Treasure Gold. Um, I've seen these on a couple different websites I forget if I got these from Simon Says or if I got them from Paper Artsy from um, the UK. Because I ordered from both and they both have the Paper Artsy um, line of um, the, uh, what are they called, the Fresno or Fresco chalk paints and these and their, their own lines of stamps. So... There were some that I wanted that Simon Says had, and there were some that wanted a Paper Arts he had, so I ordered from both. But this stuff, I love. And especially this color is called White Fire. It's a little bit of a gold kind of champagne color to it. But it's called White Fire, and it's it's a smaller container, obviously. Got my fingers all gooed up. Now, there's a much stronger smell that comes out of this. What does this say? non-tarnishing wax oh, what does that say metal wax finish metal wax finish this one says something different non-tarnishing wax guild guild I think it says guilt g-i-l-t it's kind of worn off regardless it's yummy and it's still very moist and I need very little of this to go, oh, a spider's crawling over there. Squirrel. Comes out like butter. I'm just very tapping this very lightly. I'm not scraping it out. And this goes on, oh, this goes on much smoother. I must say, and it spreads a lot further. I had much less on my finger. And um, you can see that metallic finish of that. Really pretty stuff. I mean, the Inca Golds look good, too. No, I, I, and I love, I, I have tons of their products, and I, I use them all the time. I was disappointed about this, but I will be stuffing these puppies with baby wipes tonight. But, I am going to buy some colors of this, because I love it. I talked about these on my favorites video, so let me show you what the colors are. I'm not going to run out of fingers here, and it's just going to be a short video. I'm not going to have a cloth to use my toes pretty soon. This is the color that's called, um, oh my God, it's really soft and come, too much coming out of there. Get in there, puppy. Um, Onyxite. And this is a really cool dark chocolate brown, a little bit of copper you see in there. Lord, I got it all over myself. And little bits of black come up in it. Um... But basically, you get a coppery bronze uh, kind of a color out of that. A little bit of, I don't know if you can see that or not, out here in the edges and down here, you can see some of that black that I didn't cover up again. It's kind of like the pigments mixed through it. You can even see it kind of swirled through the jar. See that black through there? That's what I mean. So it kind of like, it's kind of hit or miss what you get out of there. But it's all, it all blends together and it's yummo. 
lordy. So I also think I mentioned that the color called sapphire is sapphire to me, but on the uh, on the website looks like about like that. Looks like a teal. It is not. It is sapphire. So um, I haven't used this one. I think I used it once. And unless this, you put it on and maybe buff it off. Wonder if it happens. Wonder if the color changes when you do that. When you actually follow the directions. I kind of like march to my own drummer, if you know what I mean. Like directions, some erections. Ooh, I almost said erection. <laughs> God forbid. But um, look, sapphire. Let's see, because you're supposed to buff these once you put them on. And it brings them to a shot. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks almost like... Oops, where the hell's the camera? Can you see that silver on there? Or can you? That's like almost like metallic silver. Wow, that's cool. Eh, maybe I should buff all of them. What do you think? That's what it says to you. That's the three-step process. You apply. And what is this three steps? First... What did it say? Oh, no, hell, that was on the bottom of this one. Not that one, this one. One, two, three, apply with soft, soft cloth, rub, and buff. And that's pretty much what you're supposed to do with these. So let's, now that I've rubbed, I shall buff. Let's do all these two. Just a little bit comes off of the paper. Of course, they've dried a little bit too, so I don't know if I. Let's see. Any different? Yep, they're different. Uh, they are in person. And the sheen when you when that sheen hits, see how silver? Um, oh hell, it's this one. The sapphire is. It's more silver. That's what was rubbing off on the towel. When you buff it, that's what you see. Um, and the copper, or the onyxite, comes out more dark copper, not a light copper. The white gold, I mean the white fire, that is, it's got a little bit more white to it now. Yeah, imagine that. Follow the directions, and what do you know? Um, and there's the, the red and the blue, or the ink golds. So there you go. That's the situation I got with these babies. So, someone else asked me how I use my um, oil pastels. And, I mean, that's not really a, a video in itself. That's just, I mean, you just kind of use them the same way. I got a couple different brands, though, so I'll show you the, the different ones. Um... Just those two? Or hang on, do I have a third one? Yeah, like I need a third one, right? Oh, what do you know I do? Oh, oh. Down here in the drawer I never go into. Look at this. A whole set. 36 colors. I must have got these with a, a coupon sometime. So, okay, let's go cheapest to most expensive, shall we? Of this, give me a new piece of cardstock, and the oil pastels. I think I'm permanently dis discolored. Um, the oil pastels are um, the way I use them. Now, again, I don't ever read the directions, I just do what I feel like doing. I'm a little rule breaker, rebel. Yep, that's me, badass. Um, I really need to clean this desk is what I need to do. I got crap everywhere. Um, nonetheless, let us carry on. So um, I usually use these to highlight something. So I have a plain white piece of paper here. That's not a very good demo, is it? Hang on. Hold the phone, people. Let's see what I can find over here. 
This was, I was just cleaning off my brayer one time when I was jelly plating. And it was purple and turquoise, and I stamped it and thought, ah, I like it. So I kept it. So let's just use this, just for instance. So you see how white the paint is on either side on the edges. So say this was on something that I wanted to keep, and I wanted it darker, and I, or I wanted to bring out the color. I would find colors that are similar. Here's the turquoisey color. Maybe a little bit of that blue. Here's, is this the purple? That's blue. Violet. And there are 24 of these for $9.99. That's pretty inexpensive. And if you get them at Michael's and you got a 40, 50% off coupon, do the math. And they last a good while. It's not like they're, you know. So anyway, let's say I want to do a little shading along this edge right here. I basically just take a streak of this and just take my finger and let the heat of my finger kind of get to it and make it a little bit creamy and just kind of push it in a circular motion into the paper, I guess is the best how I can describe it. All right, I have my hand in the way, hopefully. And it's good. it's a good way to blend colors. I'm going to take some turquoise and some of the light blue down here so you can see what I'm talking about. And just kind of smush it into each other. And it, it will get real creamy with just the heat of your finger and that kind of motion is what I do. I don't know that there's any directions to this. Now you can see kind of what that's doing. I should have one of my folders. I'm right. one of my folders. So, um, kind of got away from me a little bit, but I was using some Zentangle stamps that I had. So let's say if I wanted to highlight, which is basically where I use mine is on my painted folders. Let's get rid of these colors and go back to what we got on here. Orange, yellow, red, pink. What's this red? Red. Red is red. That's orange, red. Rust, I don't need that. Maybe this yellow orange. This is a pretty color. So I just take similar colors and then I find, like, say, this little heart shape doohickey right here. And let's say I want to bring out some of the oranges there because it's mostly red around it. That's exactly what I do. I just throw some orange in there, maybe some yellow orange next to it, maybe some yellow in the middle, and maybe this red orange border out here a little bit. So everything's kind of like wherever you want the highlights and the shadows kind of thing. And get that finger warmed up. And just smush those puppies in there. And they turn really creamy. And you can kind of work it however you want to. See how easy that is? And that's kind of what I use them for. Again, this folder... I am hell in doing a video, aren't I? Like zero prep time and just kind of winging the whole works, but what the hay. So I'm going to do one. Let's do get some pink in this one over here. Um, let's do some pink and this yellow orange and some yellow, light yellow in the middle. But I love using them. They're so they're fun to use, really. They're creamy, and you kind of get that finger painting thing going in there, and you can feel them change consistency once the heat of your hand hits it. See that one's a little got a little bit more pink going in there, but they're very smooth. I like that. So moving along in price, and I really don't remember how much these were. Um. 36 colors. Ooh, they're so pretty. Um, I should use this stuff, shouldn't I? But I, I, this was pretty cheap too, I think. Um, not 10 bucks. But I think with the coupon, I don't think I paid a whole lot more than that for this, honestly. I'm trying to look for a light place on here. Oh, not too much of a light place, I gotta tell you. Um, You just see Mojo walking by. He's hitting around for his 8 o'clock snack. <laughs> um, okay. 
We'll just, uh, I'll just try to grab one of these little segments in here somewhere and make it do something. What the hell? So these, I have, I just tested a couple of the blues when I got it, and I don't even remember what they did. It was so long ago. Um, hmm, not a very good place to do this, but what the hell? Let's go in here. Let's just draw. Let's do like a gradient. Yellow. Some orange. Orange yellow. Now let's do a little bit of orange. And then a dark, darker red over here and see what we get. See how they feel compared to those. Similar. They're getting smooth and creamy and warming up to the heat of my finger. Yeah, they're they're um, pretty similar to um, the portfolios and how they feel. Um, I really should be using something different. Let me use the inside of this so you can see what the hell I'm doing at least. Let's use some different colors. They are hard to get out of here though. Let's go purple. What's that? Oh, look. That's called emerald green. That's cobalt teal, if you ask me, people. Oh, actually, it comes out there a little bit greener. So what the hell do I know? And Prussian blue, whatever the hell that is. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a dark, dark teal. Um, and again, just... mirroring them up. Now they don't look so great here on this paper. Again, not a fair demo. But they are pretty smooth. They're not bad. And they have some metallics in here. There's a gold and a silver. Hmm, let's see what they look like. Put some of that out here somewhere. Shall we? Let's do another one of these little hearts here. Let's do a little bit of gold. There we go. And a little bit of silver. Find a semi-clean finger. Let's see what we get there. This doesn't seem quite as creamy. Eh, not bad. Not my favorite. Might just be what I'm using it on. Do you notice a pattern? <laughs> oh, God. These, um, they don't look like much in here. But these were considerably more expensive, and I forget how much they were. I think there are 48 of those. 48, 36, I don't know. It's a set of sonaliers, um, which are made in France. And I forget if Dick Blick, did I get these when I was in Chicago with the mothership? I don't remember. Um, but um, these are really nice. My favorite, what's it, what do they call this color? Barite Green, B-A-R-I-T-E. Never heard of it. Um... These are these are really buttery and much the pigment is much um, more dense on these right off the bat. Um, let's throw a little yellow up here. Oh, it's got a little red on it, but that's okay. Oh yeah. So you jump up in the price, and everything feels better about those, and the coverage is thicker. So, the old adage, you get what you pay for, in this case, is probably true. But yeah, they went on a lot more smoothly. Um, even though the cheapy, cheapy ones are really smooth, and they will certainly do the trick. So if you're just starting out and you want to play with these things, wait till a 50% Michael Coup Michael's coupon and get them for 5 bucks, and you're set. 
Don't be an idiot like me and have three sets that you hardly ever use. Because that's the way I roll. Not the smartest, but I think I heard somewhere that she with the most craft supplies when she dies wins. That's what I heard. That's a pretty red. Ruby red. Oh, that's a lot redder than it looks. Oh, yeah. that I might use that for lipstick. <laughs> it's called ruby red. That's really vibrant and pretty. Me likey. Oh, hosed up that folder pretty the good. The other day when I did my favorite things video, and I didn't quite get around to the other side of the room, I thought maybe I'd do a part two. And I started to do that tonight. And then I looked around and I thought... I don't really think I have enough over there that's a favorite to do a part two. But then I spied my box of goodies. My Lindy Stamp Gang um, Starburst Sprays. I have some Flat Fabios. And I have some Moon Shadows. Moon Shadows? Yeah, Moon Shadows. Now, I got hooked on spray inks when I first got into this stuff about, I don't know, I guess it's been about two years now. And... I just loved how easy they were. You could spray them, and I got the Delusions, and I got the Rangers. Then I found Stamp Zia. Then I found Lindy's. And they were reasonably priced, and they ship really cheap because they ship dry. These bottles come dry with pigment in the bottom, and there's a fill line right here that when you get them home, you fill them with warm water, let them sit 10 minutes, shake them up, and you're good to go. So you're not paying for the water weight in all of these jars, which adds up. So that's really nice that you can do that. However, when I did this a couple years ago, and I started getting these home, I, I wrote them a couple times because the, the sprayers kept clogging. And I just, I ended up just putting them back. I didn't even use them because I couldn't get the sprayers. To work and they kept clogging and I kept trying to blow them out and soak them in water and all this stuff and then bless their hearts they they found a sprayer that works and they sent me packages of like 50 some of these caps for free and I think if you guys have any of these they sell them on their website now um, just a couple of bucks for these replacement caps and they work like a charm. Now I'm going to pull one out of here and I'm hoping it's an older color that I haven't used to see if I can show you the difference. What's this? Luscious Lime. That's a flat Fabio. I think they came out later and they probably spray okay. Magnolia Magenta Gold. This might be one with an older cap on it. I'm going to spray until I find one. How about that? So you got to shake them a little bit because the pigment settles on the bottom, right? So let's see. Now, of course, this one's going to spray. Not very well, so that may be an old one, but it is actually spraying. So we won't, we won't mess with that one. What's this? Delphinium turquoise. These are so pretty. They have um, a lot of pigments and a lot of shine in them. Looks like lava. Can you see that rolling down the page? Trying to, to let it drip on my keyboard. Short out the whole damn works here. Trying to show you something. Watch. All these will work now. That one's only spraying out of the bottom. So that might be a bad one. Let's assume that's a bad one. For demonstration purposes. In the Garbucci. New cap. And let's see what we got. Got to prime it, and look at that. Much better spray coming out of there. So these are fabulous once again, and I bought more colors since, um, and I use them, but it's just, ooh, yummy. yum -alicious. Um, But they are one of my favorite things. They have so much shimmer in them. That'd be really if I'm stupid enough to drift on my own keyboard. Let me try to protect it. Can you see the pigment running through there? Maybe. Maybe not. Try this way. It's a longer, longer to the bottom. Ooh. Yum! Um, but yeah, these are 
these are fun and really mix up nicely and I could just sit here and watch this all night so don't mind me carry on with whatever you want to do I'm just going to sit here and watch these I know it seems like I'm wasting it but it's for my own entertainment value at this point yum It's like you can't you can't screw these up. And also, um, if you guys don't know Limor Weber, L I M O R W E B E R, check her out. She is um, on I guess on the design team for Lindsay's now, and she's got her own set of I uh, I think it's five, and they're called Industrial Chic. Really cool colors. Those are my next on my list that I want to get. Um, three different shades of teals, I think, which is her favorite and my favorite color. Um, and I think there's like a bronzy, like a more, more metal colors in it, but really cool. Uh, a cool set. See how interesting those colors are getting up there now. Now I'm telling you, you can't hate that. You just can't. So that was another little favorite thing I thought I'd throw out there while I saw these sitting over there all by their lonesomes. And is that it? Is that all I got to show you tonight? Gosh, it's only like 35 minutes. That doesn't seem right, does it? Mm -mm -mm. It does not seem right. But anyway. We're going to have to call that right. I'm going to let this sit here and dry. And next time I come down here, I'll cut it up at like Dina's, Dina Wakely's puke on a page. And, oh, see, good example. Look at this one. Of course, i got to wrap up and then I'd find one that does what I was saying they do. Nothing. That was driving me crazy. Off with the bad. On with the good. Prime it. Perfect spray. So, if you have any Lindy's that you've given up on because of the cap, don't give up. Write them or go on the line and buy them. Look at that color of orange. Oh, oh mama. Oh, I love you. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, I'll be here till like 3 a.m. Just watching the ink roll around on the page. I'm sure that's exciting for you guys. Um, I'm a little tired, can you tell? Um, okay, so um, I guess I'm going to wrap it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I'll be back soon. Um, maybe not before the weekend at this rate because I'm going away Friday morning. Um, for the weekend. If I can squeak something in Thursday night, I will. But I can't promise at this time. And we'll just, you know, wing it like I do my whole life. I'm a winger. Can't help it. That's just what I do. So, um, anyway, stay tuned. Oh, check out my, um, I did a blog post today. I know that's really rare, isn't it? It's such a shame. I just don't have enough time. The attention span of a freaking gnat. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, check that out. And don't forget, it's October. What is October? Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Get your mammograms. Make your girlfriend, your mom, your sister, your aunt, your daughter. Take a friend. Sign up. Save the tatas. See ya.